Thank heaven, literally, that Christmas is here. It's true, winter isn't easy for many. As Charlie Brown famously told Linus, I think there must be something wrong with me. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel. Isn't that true of lots of us these days? Many of us are feeling heavy, empty, exhausted, fearful, angry, even a little desperate. In a nation still pulsating with pandemic uncertainty and political division, not to mention a mental health epidemic that seems to be getting even worse. Maybe it's not surprising that most of us are feeling some real inner turbulence. How could we not? Amidst this all, you have to wonder, how are we supposed to feel during these holidays? While Christmas cheer is nice when it comes, that's not the central promise Jesus makes to his followers. So what is? Peace. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. That's something Christ and Christmas invite us to receive more in our life. Yes, even when other things are hard. Jesus himself was born into a nation that was not free and deeply oppressed. And yet, we sing, O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. All is bright. Underneath all the pain of that Jewish nation was something good and trustworthy. Reminding those who would listen, it's going to be okay. Can we say the same today? As Elder D. Todd Christofferson wrote a few Christmases back, I hope you will take time this Christmas season to sit for a few moments and let the Savior's Spirit warm you and reassure you of the worthiness of your service, of your offering, of your life. Sit quietly with that little baby and come away spiritually strengthened and better prepared for all that is going to come later. Let that moment be one of rest and refreshing and reassurance and renewal. Let's try that. Taking a few quiet moments to do exactly this and to feel the peace he promises all who love him, irregardless of circumstances. Whenever it makes sense for you, finding a moment to be still, letting his spirit warm you, reassure you, sitting quietly with your breath. And yes, with that baby, feeling the physical sensations of breathing up and down. In and out. Breathe. 
breathing in strength, reassurance, and refreshment. Breathing out regret, worry, and pain. And resting in a place deeper than the anger and the sadness and the fear. Resting in your core, your spirit. It's more than just peace that God has for us, of course. Fear not, the angel said, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. It's true that some of this joy looks forward to great days to come. The French lyricist behind O Holy Night anticipates the day when chains he shall break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Just imagine the day when, as John says, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. We sometimes think Christmas songs are all about the birth of Jesus, but if you take a closer look at some of the favorites, you might be surprised at how often they refer to something far beyond the birth of that beautiful baby. For lo, the days are hastening on by prophets seen of old, when with the ever-circling years shall come the time foretold, when the new heaven and earth shall own the Prince of Peace their King, and the whole world send back the song which now the angels sing. No more will sin and sorrow grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He'll come and make the blessings flow, far as the curse was found. The rest of that beloved carol can be sung as a celebration of the joy, not only of an ancient birthday, but of a future day of healing and redemption when the earth has received her king. Rejoice, rejoice when Jesus reigns and saints their songs employ while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace. The kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. That day will be pretty darn awesome. But remember, the joy offered doesn't need to await only a future day we have available right now far more than an abstract one day things will be better in heaven joy as ancient king benjamin once taught whosoever should believe that christ should come the same might receive remission of their sins and rejoice with exceedingly great joy even as though he had already come among them. Could you and I feel this kind of joy today? If you're one of the many feeling some exhaustion and distress at all that's going on around us, close your eyes this Christmas season and let the familiar carols 
and spirit of the season console you. And not just for the welcome glimpses of Christmas past, or the anticipation of a glorious Christmas future, but instead for the Christmas that awaits you right now. And for what and who is waiting to meet you here, right here. One who knows your needs and to your weakness is no stranger. <laughs>